Hi, I'm Karmi Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Thursday, the 4th of uh, June. Today the moon is in Gemini for the second consecutive day. It is another beautiful day. If you're an air sign, if you're Gemini, if you're Libra, if you're Aquarius. Around uh, 9 p.m. Universal Time, the moon leaves Gemini and goes to Cancer. So how's it going to be for all signs? Uh, starting with Aries, it is definitely a very active and very efficient and productive day. Just try to stay focused focused in order to get uh, what you want and to actually achieve your goal. Moving to Taurus uh, with the uh, moon in the second house, you still feel uh, kind of excited, kind of uh, uh, with great emotions and with great impulse. This is a very nice day to move forward. But remember, planet Mars is in your birth, is in, in your sign. So be more careful, especially if you were born between the 8th and the 10th of May. Moving to Gemini with the moon in your sign, it is a new start, it's a new beginning, it's something new that you want to move on with, and I think you can do it. There is something that you need to introduce to yourself, to your life, and this is the best time to do it. Uh, with planet Jupiter in your sign, you can be very lucky if you were born on the 29th, 30th of May. Moving to Cancer, this is a slow day. Basically, there are things that may not take place, things that may stall, and everything seems to be on hold. You may feel disappointed or frustrated at a certain moment. But after after 9 p.m. Universal Time, the moon reaches your sign, and things start to take a different direction. Moving to Leo, uh, with the moon in Gemini, things are quite fine, they're quite fast, and everything seems to be to your content and to your satisfaction. Try to get things really done and wrapped up before 9 p.m. Universal Time, otherwise you would have to wait till Sunday, 4 a.m. Um, universal Time. That's when the moon reaches your sign. Moving to Virgo, uh, although the moon may test your patience, may test your skills, um, there can be some benefits today. Maybe you get uh, to meet someone important, maybe you pass a great exam, and then you will celebrate. Everything seems to be fine, uh, all in all. All you have to do is be prepared. Libra, I like the effects of the moon in your sign. It empowers you. It gives you more courage and more audacity. I talked about this uh, on Wednesday also. I will not repeat the same information. So this is a positive day, and it is one of the best days in this week. So try to make the best of every single beautiful, precious, uh, valuable, lucky moment today. Moving to Scorpio, you're moving forward. You need to give and take. You need to be flexible and to show your flexibility. I think you can actually win a lot. There are many things that you can accomplish today with uh, diplomacy, let's say, with flexibility and with some kind of, okay, give and take situation. Everybody can be lucky today, um, but 18 November still need to be more cautious and more flexible. Moving to Sagittarius, I know that the moon opposes your sign, but Jupiter jumps in to help you and to solve things and maybe will put you in contact with a, the right person. So this is the, uh, it is an important day. So whatever you have, whether it's a meeting, whatever, uh, what, um, or whether it's a, a, maybe it's a reunion or whatever it is, or a test, try to stay cool and try also to uh, give your best. Um, moving to Capricorn, I know that it was tough on um, uh, in the first uh, three days. Uh, today is another day that needs you to be flexible, that needs you to really put more of your efforts in the right place, definitely, because you want to avoid creating a snowball that may actually really grow very, very huge um, uh, Friday and Saturday. And believe me, you don't want that. Moving to Aquarius, the effects of the moon in Gemini uh, are very, very uh, beneficial and very favorable. You can do a lot, you can win a lot, and you can actually uh, achieve something really important on the uh, personal side. Maybe it's um, some kind of a resol uh, resolving a problem with your loved one or moving forward with a project. It is a beautiful day, especially if you were born on the 28th, 29th of January. 
As for Pisces, this is a day where it seems that uh, you're more in contact, you, it seems, with a personal issue. Maybe it's a sibling issue, maybe it's related to a, a, a close friend of yours, a family member, something like that. So try not to get involved too emotionally. Jupiter, luckily, will jump in to help you resolve the issue, and probably uh, the situation will be under control and you will be satisfied. Let's wrap it up with born on the 4th of June. This should be a very important year where actually you work or you put efforts on the personal um, uh, level, meaning that maybe you look to uh, empower yourself uh, professionally, maybe spiritually, maybe physically, uh, maybe uh, psychologically. This is a very important year. Actually, it will pave the way for a, a very successful, beautiful uh, next year, you know, like your birthday uh, in July uh, 2025 will um, will be perfect. So in the meantime, you're paving the way and you're actually flying high. So basically, this is it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.